In today's video, I am going to explain what is a non-homogeneous recurrence relation or inhomogeneous recurrence relation. So here, any equation which is of the form a n is equal to c1 a n minus 1 plus c2 a n minus 2 plus and so on c k a n minus k plus g of n. See here, c1, c2, c3 and so on c n are constants. So for this non-homogeneous recurrence relation, there is a general solution. General solution is nothing but a n is equal to a n at h plus a n at p. So what is a n at h? It is nothing but the homogeneous solution. In my previous videos, I made so many videos how to make this homogeneous solutions. And now I am going to explain the particular solution. So a n at p is nothing but the particular solution. So if you add up homogeneous solution plus particular solution, we will be getting the general solution of the given non-homogeneous recurrence relation. See here, so this is an important question. Solve the recurrence relation a n minus 2 times of a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 is equal to 2. So, when the R H S side is any value is given, then we say that it is a non-homogeneous recurrence relation. See here, the given non-homogeneous recurrence relation is nothing but a n minus 2 times of a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 is equal to 2. Now we need the homogeneous recurrence relation. Now if I take the homogeneous recurrence relation, the homogeneous recurrence relation is nothing but a n minus 2 times of a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we need the characteristic equation. Therefore, the characteristic equation, the characteristic equation is, so this is of order 2. So, this will be r square minus, this is 2r plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, if I make the roots here, so this can be written as r minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. Now, the roots are 1 comma 1. Therefore, the homogeneous solution can be written as the homogeneous solution is equal to, there are two constants here and they are equal constants. So, case 2. So, this can be written as a c1. So, this is plus a c2 n into this is 1 power n. So, we have to write the homogeneous solution as this and next coming to the particular solution so we have to we have to decide the particular solution so our assumption will be for the particular solution see here we have to find out the particular solution so for the particular solution if you observe the question so the question is nothing but a n so this is a n minus 2 times of a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 is equal to 2. Now the RHS is a constant. Since the RHS is a constant, since RHS in the given RHS in the given recurrence relation is constant, is 2 a constant, we assume, we assume the particular solution as we assume the particular solution. See here, the particular solution we are assuming as D, that is A n of P is equal to some D. So, as it is a constant, I am taking D as a constant. So, now if I substitute the same thing, so we have A n is equal to, see here, A n minus 2 times of A n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 is equal to d. So, a n of p, our assumption is nothing but again a constant d. So, if I substitute this will be d minus 2 d plus d is equal to 2. So, if I take this will be 2 d minus 2 d is equal to 2 and 0 is equal to 2 we got. So, which is impossible. So, which is impossible. So, which is impossible. So, our assumption, so our assumption, the particular solution D is untrue or false. Therefore, now we have to assume. So, now this time I am assuming the particular solution as 
as it is a constant let's get started with the another assumption let us assume the particular solution let us assume the particular solution for the recurrence relation as a n at p is equal to see here a n at p is equal to this time i am assuming as n d so here from the question what is given a n minus 2 a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 is equal to 2 so this is the homogeneous recurrence relation if i assume that this is the solution so if i substitute see what happened so this is n d the solution here is n d two times of in place of n we have to write n minus 1 into d in place of n i have to write n minus 2 into d is equal to 2 and see what happens n d minus if i multiply this will be 2 n d minus into minus plus this is 2 d and this is again n d and this is 2 d is equal to 2 now see here so this is plus n d plus n d so this is 2 n d minus 2 n d and this is again 2 d minus 2 d is equal to 2 so if i cancel all these so if i can cancel all these then what happens here 0 is equal to 2 we got therefore our assumption now we say that our assumption our assumption which is impossible so this is impossible so 0 can never be equal to 2 therefore our assumption which assumption our assumption that the particular solution is nd see here the particular solution is nd is false is untrue or false therefore this time i am assuming so now let us assume now this time let us assume the particular integral particular solution the particular solution for the recurrence relation as a n at p is equal to this time n square d so let us see what happens and what is the question here according to the question here this is given as a n so this is a n minus 2 times of a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 is equal to d so if i substitute the same thing here so a n is nothing but this is n square d minus 2 times of in place of n i have to write n minus 1 whole square d and this is n minus 2 whole square d is equal to d so if i expand see what happens this is n square d minus 2 times of this is a square plus b square minus 2ab into d and this will be if i expand this is a square plus b square minus 4n into d is equal to d and see so if i calculate this one see what happens here so this will be n square d so this is n square d this is minus 2 n square d and this is minus 2 d minus into minus this will be 4 n d and if i multiply with 3 this will be n square d plus 4 d minus 4 n d is equal to d and see and see what happens so this is nothing but so here if you observe this one this is plus n square d plus n square d 2 and this is 2 and now we can easily cancel this plus 2 and minus 2 and if you observe this one i can again cancel these two and what remains here so this is nothing but minus 2d minus 2d plus 4d is equal to minus 2d plus 4d is equal to this side so this side it is not d this is 2 so this is 2 so this value is 2 so this value is 2 and see here 2d is equal to 2 and d is equal to here 1 see here so this value is 2 according to the question a n minus 2 a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 is equal to 2 and so we have to write 2 on the rhs so we got the d value as 1 so after getting the d value so now this is possible see here our assumption that the particular solution is nothing but n square d so in place of d if i put 1 so this will be n square so 
the particular solution is equal to here this is n square so this is uh, equation 2 or this is b so we have the general solution therefore the general solution is equal to therefore the general solution is so the general solution a n is equal to this is the homogeneous solution plus the particular solution therefore our a n is equal to what is our homogeneous solution just now we found that the homogeneous solution is nothing but c1 plus c2 n into 1 power n so this is the homogeneous solution and what is the particular solution so this is nothing but n square so after getting the general solution so we have certain certain assumptions so initial values that is a naught is equal to 25 and a1 is equal to 16 so here we have a naught is equal to 25 and a1 is equal to 16 so now we have to keep n is equal to 0 so if we put n is equal to 0 then a naught value is equal to c1 plus c2 into 0 and this is 1 power 0 and this is 0 square so a naught value is equal to 0 so this is 0 and this will be 0 c1 so what is a naught a naught is equal to 25 so therefore we got c1 value as 25 and the next one we have to keep n is equal to 1 so in this equation if we keep n is equal to 1 then a1 is equal to c1 plus c2 into 1 and this is again 1 power 1 plus this is 1 square See, a1 value will be, this is a c1 plus a c2 plus 1. What is a1? a1 is nothing but 16. So, 16 is equal to c1 plus a c2 plus 1. So, here, if you see the value. So, what is c1 here? c1 is nothing but 25. So, if I substitute, this is 25 plus c2 plus 1. This is 16. 25 plus 1. So, this will be 26 plus C2 and C2 value will be 16 minus 26 and C2 value is nothing but minus 10. So, we got the value of C1 as well as C2. Now, what is our general solution? See here. So, in place of C1, I have to put 25 and in place of C2, I have to keep minus 10. So, our general solution here is... See, I am writing once again. See, you can check here. Our general solution a n is equal to c1 plus c2 n into 1 power 1, 1 power n into n square. So, we have the two values ready as a n is equal to what is c1 value? c1 is nothing but 25. So, this value is nothing but this is 25 and c2 is nothing but 10 n. So, this is 1 power n, it is again n plus this value is again n square so therefore a n is equal to this is n square minus 10 n plus 25 is the required solution or the general solution for the given non-homogeneous or uh, inhomogeneous recurrence relation see here we have to find the homogeneous solution as well as the particular solution so this is the question given as rhs has an element or a numeral we say that we consider that this is non-homogeneous recurrence relation so the given non-homogeneous recurrence relation, recurrence relation is as this first we have to write the homogeneous recurrence relation we have to frame a characteristic equation and we have to find the roots from this we we can get the homogeneous solution as the equal roots we have to write as c1 plus c2 n into 1 power n for the particular solution first my assumption is as it is a constant i took a constant as d so if i substitute d here so if i substitute d in the given equation so we got 0 is equal to 2 which is impossible therefore our assumption the particular solution d is false and now we assume that it is n into d even then we got 0 is equal to 2 which is impossible therefore our assumption the particular solution nd is false therefore again we assume n square is equal to d and so we got the value of d is equal to 1 so after getting d is equal to 1 if i substitute in place of d as 1 so this will be the particular solution is n square so the general solution is nothing but the homogeneous solution plus the particular solution so if you add up these two so we got the general solution so we have two conditions has a naught is equal to 25 and a1 is equal to 16 if i substitute we got c1 is equal to 25 and c2 is equal to minus 10 now this is the general solution for the given non-homogeneous 
रिकरेंस रिलेशन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग इफ यू रियली लाइक यू नो वॉट टू डू प्लीज प्रैक्टिस डेफिनेटली यू कैन स्कोर मोर एंड प्लीज पास इट ऑन टू यूर फ्रेंड्स एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो टू एज मेनी फ्रेंड्स एज यू कैन थैंक यू सो मच